The custom defined shooting mode in Shutterstream version 5.0 will allow users to automate their still image capture when working with the Iconesis USB turntable to automate their still imaging requirements. We'll take our product, place it in the center of the turntable. After we position our object in the center of the turntable, what we'll want to do is just optimize our camera settings for our lighting environment. These settings will be retained from shot to shot. We also have full control over our focal point. We can adjust our focal point near and far manually. As you can see when I click the focal point adjustment arrows, it'll adjust the focal point and we can bring our product into focus. It will also retain the focal point from shot to shot. Next, we want to click the 360 button in the top right hand corner, select our correct turntable type. We'll be working the Platinum Mid-Series turntable and pre-rotate our object. It is in this step we wish to ensure that we we'll position our object in the center of the turntable as well as adjust our crop marker as our object spins in 360 to ensure that our object is not going to fall outside of the crop area. Users do have full control should they wish to crop at a specific ratio or a custom angle that can be set in the crop options. We can see here my object is slightly off center. I will make a small adjustment and I will continue with the pre-rotate spin. And as need be, adjust my crop markers as my object does rotate. After we have ensured our object is spinning in the center of the turntable, we do want to stop our turntable at the first shooting position. In my case, this would be the straight on side angle. And in fact, I think I rotate it a little bit too far, so I'm just going to move it back, say 10 degrees, and okay. Now we're ready to get started shooting. We'll enter the custom angles inside of the software. In this case, I will shoot a zero degree, which is the straight on. It'll automatically shoot that first position. 45 degree, shoot a 90 degree, 180 degree, and a 270 degree. When we're ready to get started, simply hit the start button, and this will automate our image capture again in a turn, stop, snap workflow. Now that we've completed our capture process, our turntable is going to return to the starting position where I might wish to add a couple more frames. In this case, I will shoot a top and bottom view of the shoe. While looking at my monitor, I will adjust my product. The crop will be retained and I will simply hit the snap button. There's my top down angle, shooting the bottom of the shoe. We'll get my bottom angle. Now that we have our seven angles ready to go, I can select my images. I can enter into my editing tool where I can batch apply some edits if required. In this case, I might just add a slight adjustment to my contrast using my levels tool as well as increase my sharpness. Then I can hit apply to all and in a batch process, it'll race through and batch edit the set of images. My last step in this case will be to save out the images from the Shutterstream application to a local folder. I can select a name, choose to batch resize. In this case, maybe I need all these images at 2000 pixels wide. Choose my output location, it will rename them sequentially. And in a batch process, it'll batch rename and resize this set of images to whatever folder I'd specified. As we can see, the images being saved in this case. Last, we can inspect the images and as we can see, very high quality results captured very fast, very efficiently, ready to go for our website. If you have any questions, let us know. The company name is Iconesis. Thank you.